Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd with AVNirvana.com, and I'm here in the Mile High City at Cedia 2023 with Jim Garrett. We're checking out Revel. You guys have some really awesome new in wall and in ceiling speakers that you're showing off here at the show. Let us know what you got. So this is the new Revel Performa Beryllium architectural series. So this is a range of three end wall and one end ceiling products that were designed to complement our five models that we have of the box loudspeakers and room. Right. So we've got three floor standards, a bookshelf and a center channel. And these are a perfect mix and match for those five products. Excellent. So we have three different models for your end walls right here. Tell us a little bit about what the differences are. Yeah, so we start with the W126BE. Okay. That's over my left shoulder. Over my right shoulder is the M126BE, which is the box loudspeaker that we have from that range. Okay. So you can see we've literally taken that speaker and put it in the wall. So it's a six and a half inch two way, same drive units that we have in the bookshelf speaker. Okay. And that's where we start into the range. The next model up is the W226BE, and that is a double six and a half inch version of it which turns it into a great speaker for use as an LCR, or it could be a surround channel, perhaps if you're using the next model down as your front stage. That's the W228BE. That's the largest of the three end walls. And that is basically an end wall version of the F228BE floor standing loudspeaker. Right. So it's a dual eight inch three-way loudspeaker. We did something a little different with that one. Whereas this is basically the same configuration. That one we changed and put the HF and MF drivers in the middle, and that can uh, entire enclosure can be unbolted, rotated 90 degrees, so that that then could become a horizontal speaker for a center channel, or three of them as an LCR if you wanted to do that as well. Right. That's a really neat feature, but I do wonder if you're sticking that behind an AT screen, you probably want to leave it. If you're going, going yeah, if you're going to go behind a woven or a perforated screen as a, as a left, center, right, yeah, leave them all vertical. Leave them yep. all vertical. Yeah, right, exactly. But if you're sticking that below a TV, if you're going below, like that, uh, switch it and then fix the display. The yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. Yep. And then up here we have this beast, this the beast. beautiful looking yes. beast up here. Uh, that's your in ceiling model. Yeah, so that's a C one twenty eight BE. That's an eight inch two way in ceiling speaker. Both the, the C-128 BE and the W-126 BE, they make great hi-fi speakers. So if you're looking for a, a custom uh, hidden installation for music or high-end distributed audio throughout a house, those are great to be used for that application. But of course, that in-ceiling speaker would work in an immersive audio system. So if you need a height channel for Dolby Atmos or DTSX, that's a great solution to go with the rest of these products. Okay. And I'm noting here, we see that there are boxes included. Yes. Uh, so you have some in-wall box uh, options. Yeah, so there is a back box that's optional for all four models. So you can use them without, if you don't want to have that enclosure in there, or you can purchase that as an additional uh, option and put them in the wall ahead of time. And then you've got consistency from you know, room to room. The sound quality is always going to be the same. You can, of course, minimize room uh, intrusion into adjacent spaces, anything like that that you want to do. The base performance will change a little bit uh, with them versus using them in a, a larger stud bay enclosure, sure. if you will. Uh, but again, you'll get that consistency out right. of them. So they're sold separately. It's an option for each of the models. Okay. And we were talking about this earlier. The waveguide on your tweeter allows for really even dispersion, wide dispersion, which plays into that RP22 uh, installation or yeah. design guideline yeah. that is being released today. Actually, you can yep. get your free copy by going over uh, to cedia.com, I believe. Um, so Yeah, so waveguides have always been a key part of Revel's DNA. Uh, it's a, the ideal way for us to integrate uh, a, typically what's a one inch dome tweeter into the mid-range or, or woofer that's below the product. And it gives us great coverage as well. So this is a, literally like our sixth generation of geometry that we use in it. It's a fairly advanced design in these. We've got a cast aluminum waveguide that's on the end walls. Mm -hmm. And then the end ceiling has the same geometry, but it's done in a, in a plastic and a polymer okay. uh, version of the waveguide. But that does give us very good coverage on it. So if again, if you're gonna use that as a high channel speaker, you get pretty good sound to a fairly wide coverage area out of that speaker. So even though it's a fixed, it's not an angled 
speaker, it's a fixed speaker, but you still get very good coverage out of it. Okay, awesome. And pricing and availability for these guys. Yeah, uh, yeah pricing on these, again, the back boxes are sold separately, so that's an additional cost item on it. So the end wall speakers, we start at $1,750 each, okay. and the back box is an additional $500. So you're at about $4,500 there. The, the box loud speaker is $4,400, so you're pretty much the same price. When you step up to the middle, you go to $2,750 each. The back box is $800 each. You go to the big guy, you're at $3,500 each and $1,000 for the enclosure. So if you compare that to the tower, the F228BE, that floor standing loudspeaker is $11,000 a pair. You're $9,000 a pair right. for the end wall version with the back box. And then the fourth model, the end ceiling, we're at uh, $1,500 each for those and an additional $550 for the back box. So that puts you at $4,100 for uh, those with the back box. Okay. For a pair. So pricing is almost comparable to your, your floor standards. So the box, and, yeah, yeah once so you the add floor the standing and the, and, the, and the bookshelf, yeah. Okay, and these are gonna start shipping in mid-November? I expect they'll be available in the U.S. market around November. They should be hitting your warehouses. Okay, awesome. Well, yep. folks, keep your eye on these. They are gorgeous looking. I'm sure they and sound- sounding. I know, I'm sure they sound <laughs> as good as they look. Yes. So, okay, Jim. Thank you so much for uh, hanging with us. Yep, thank you. And folks, that's all I have for you right now. We have more uh, coming to you from Cedia coming up.